hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to do like a just like study with me type of day um unfortunately with the covid stuff happening right now i was supposed to take my mcat exam yesterday but um that clearly got canceled because of you know the virus which is good you know stay at home it's better to be safe than sorry and i kind of just trying to find the good in this and just say that you know honestly i probably wasn't as ready as i could have been for the exam so this gives me just an extra boost of motivation to like really get my school where i want it to be um so i'm just gonna like get myself together i literally just got out of bed and then we're just gonna have a day of fun filled studying stay tuned Before I start, I don't really like to just jump right into studying. I think there needs to be a little bit of a break before you start. So I'm gonna enjoy some breakfast. I got um, bagel and cream cheese and my black tea. But you know, with the amount of cream and sugar I put in it, it's not black anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna study for a total of five hours today. The first hour, we're gonna do some Anki and some light uh, psychology reading. Second hour, some U World. Third hour, U World. Fourth hour, U World. And fifth hour, U World. So yeah, let's uh, get after it. I will see you guys in one hour. Today, I learned about fundamental attribution error. And this is our tendency to believe that people act in a certain way due to internal factors such as personality or flaws as opposed to external factors that are out of the person's control. Congratulations, we finished our first hour of studying. I did all of my Anki cards and I also completed my psych social reading. I'm actually using the Kaplan, the lazy OCD method. I think it's like 100 pages. So that's what I've been doing for this past hour. And now we're just gonna take a 10 minute break. For my first 10 minute break, I'm gonna do a little bit of workout just to get my blood flowing to get me through these next four hours. Um, I wrote down five exercises that I'm gonna do. The first one, we're going to plank for one minute, do push-ups for one minute, we're going to squat for one minute, we're going to do a reverse dog for one minute, and then we're going to do some glute bridges for one minute. We're going to do each exercise twice, and that's going to give us 10 minutes, all right? So get on your workout stuff on or keep your pajamas on like I'm going to, and let's just, you know, let's just bang out a quick 10-minute workout. And honestly, if you're still studying for like, whether it's the MCAT or school or DAT or GRE or whatever during this time, like kudos to you. Because I know, I understand how hard it is and you think that having all this time at home that you're gonna have, you're gonna be way more productive, but you just find yourself being really, really lazy and just not wanting to do anything. But you really just gotta fight through it because you also have to realize that you're not alone in this. We're all in the same boat. We're all trying to study and it's really, really hard, but we really just gotta like motivate each other to do it. Because even though that there's this, you still have to study and you still have to go to work and you still have to, you know, do your assignments and you still have to live with this fear that the world is ending and you, you just have, it's hard to not worry about your friends and your family during this time. <sighs> so it's hard, you know, it's very hard to keep 
you know, maintaining your responsibilities when you just like have this fear in the back of your head, but you know, just power through and just stay positive and pray or do whatever you got to do, meditate, do yoga, whatever you got to do to just kind of keep your mind at peace, just do it and just like let's just let's just we can do this, guys. We can do this together. All right? Don't give up. Keep working hard. Let's go. Round 2. Let's get it. Today I learned about STP, which stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure. In this case, the standard temperature is 273 degrees Kelvin and pressure is 1 atm. It is also useful to know that 1 mole of gas occupies 22.4 liters of volume. guys we did it we completed our second hour of studying so now it's time for our next 10 minute break for this 10 minute break i think i'm going to eat a little bit of i don't know i'm going to do a little bit of snacking eat some cheese and crackers and while i'm eating my snack i'm going to do a little bit of duolingo right now i'm trying to learn how to speak some spanish i took spanish in high school but i'm using duolingo just to kind of like refresh in that a little bit and be sharper on my spanish skills so Come and join me as I lingo it up and I eat my cheese and crackers. Our 10 minute break is over and this is just a reminder to everyone to make sure to take your vitamin C today, promote your immune system and your immune health. Nice, okay. Now we are gonna go to round three of our five hours studying time. This one, I'm gonna go to cars, the most dreaded U world cars. Actually, no, I'm gonna pretend like I'm really excited to do cars. Yes, yes, we get to do cars next. I read a really interesting cars passage today, actually, and it was about this doctor who um, discovered this vial that could cure disease and he could easily either treat one really really sick patient who he has a close connection with or four patients who he doesn't know but it could treat all of them at once and it's basically him conflicted about who to save and I thought it was really interesting because I felt like it related to the world today with the coronavirus and doctors having to make decisions like that Okay, we have finished session number three. I'm starting to feel a little like, bleh, you know, three hours of studying. So I'm actually gonna take a little walk, even though it's a little gross outside right now, but just wanna take a really quick walk, get some fresh air, give me that last little bit of boost I need to get me through these next two hours, you know? Um, yeah, cars is tough, man. Cars is so tough. It's honestly, definitely, without a doubt, my hardest section, but just got to keep practicing and I don't know, be a better reader or not necessarily be a better reader, but be a better comprehender. All right. Time Hello for guys. Me. We are live from outside. <laughs> it is actually a lot colder than I thought it was going to be. So I'm happy I wore my jacket. Um, this is nice. I recommend that everyone just goes outside. Even if it's just for five, 10 minutes, your body needs it. Your body needs some fresh air. Also, I wanted to just input that if you've noticed, I have been using my iPad Pro. I just bought it recently on Facebook Marketplace. There was a lady that was selling the whole iPad, the keyboard and the pen. And honestly, it was a big purchase for me because I don't really buy stuff that are like really expensive, but that was like, I felt like it was gonna be, I mean, it's not necessary, but I'm very happy with my decision. I know a lot of people are like conflicted as to whether getting an iPad is worth it. But if you're in a similar situation as me, where you're studying for an exam or you're a student or maybe an artist or whatever, I honestly think that it's worth the splurge. 
I think that my productivity has really increased and it is just so lightweight <laughs> like my old MacBook was so heavy and I just felt like it was giving me back problems so not only is it helping me with my productivity but it's also helping me with the health of my back <laughs> at least that's what I tell myself to justify my large purchases because I don't make many but when I do it's like I have to convince myself that I made a good decision but you know I don't need to convince myself because I already know it I already know it's a good decision And we are back for round four. Okay, so for this hour, we are gonna do UWorld biology and biochemistry questions for an hour. Same method, passage, review, passage, review, passage, review, passage, review. All right, and um, if you guys are wondering, I probably get through like, well, so far for the chemistry, I got through like two passages because I was really struggling. <laughs> Like there was some stuff I did not know. So I really had to like do some deep dive and understand those questions that I got wrong. And then for cars, I did three passages. So I don't really do too many passages during my hour, but I think it's just like more important that I actually understand what I'm missing instead of like trying to get through as many as possible, you know? Cause what's the point of getting through as many possible questions if you're not understanding why you're getting them right or wrong. But all right, let's get to it. One hour, biochemistry, biology, let's go. Today, I studied that the parathyroid hormone is released in response to low blood calcium levels, while castletonin is released in response to high blood calcium levels. Another hour has been completed, so it is time for our 10 minute break. For this 10 minute break, I definitely wanna be on my feet and moving a little bit, so I'm just gonna you know, do some cleaning up, and um, I do have some laundry I need to put away, so I'll probably be doing that. about as clean as it's gonna get today let's get into our last hour this final hour of studying is going to be um, going blank <laughs> oh psychology psychology we're gonna finish strong with one hour of psychology and then we're gonna complete our day and get ourselves something really 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 nice to eat for dinner because I deserve it. I don't know if you guys have been studying with me, but I know I've been studying, so I deserve a nice meal after this. Um, comment down below, like, I don't know, some some restaurant or food that you just, like, look forward to eating. Like, the thought of it is just like, wow, after, after this hard task that I'm doing, I'm going to get myself some blank. Like, what is that for you? What, what meal is that? What restaurant is that? Let me know. Drop it down below. All right, let's get it. Let's finish our final hour of studying, guys. In this section, we discuss the difference between relative poverty and absolute poverty. Relative poverty is when you're considered poor compared to most people around you, while absolute poverty is when you're not able to um, attain your basic needs such as food, water, and shelter. Just like that, guys, we just completed five hours of studying. And you know, now it's time for me to celebrate and just really treat myself to something special. 